my, my name's Peter Lawson. Um, I'm secretary of the Easington Colliery Brass Band from County Durham. Um, the band has uh, come over to Belfast over the last four years um, as part of um, the sponsorship that RMT Union uh, have with the Easington Colliery Band. Uh, we're over here to do the, the May Day Parade as we've done over the last few years. And we are here representing also the women of the Congo, the children and for the, all the suffering they're going through. I think that's all I can say. Comrades, brothers and sisters, it is with great pleasure but also with humble pride that I address you here today in Belfast, a city which has so much more to give the world than a sick that sh the ship that sunk. We gather here again this year to celebrate International Workers' Day following 12 months of what has witnessed a rebirth of workers' confidence against a backdrop of unrelenting attacks on workers across, the, across Ireland. Ordinary working men and women finally threw off their chains. They held their heads high. They laid down their tools, their pens, their buses, their chalk, their home health uniforms and their bins with confidence and courage in defiance against the might of a government we chose resistance. On November 30th last year, we stood shoulder to shoulder, workers united in struggle, unions united in solidarity, standing solidly for the first time in generations against the common enemy, the capitalist conservative government and their banker and speculator friends. So from this platform today, I'd like to make it clear on behalf of trade unions right across the city and beyond that we welcome our friends from migrant working communities our friends in the gay and lesbian, bisexual and transgender communities, our friends in the trapper community, our young people and the not so young. Workers reject bigotry from wherever it comes. As committed trade unionists and internationalists, we also send a message of solidarity to our brothers and sisters in Palestine, trapped in their homeland or dying in prison. And to other people across the globe who have had to endure so much because the rest of the world refused to listen or to intervene. To those who would hold up this economic model as the best that humans can come up with, spur a thought today for the tens of thousands of people in Africa and in Asia who will die before you get home this evening, simply because rich people want to get richer. There is a better, fairer way. You tax the rich, you deal the invaders, you invest in jobs and you protect the vulnerable. That's what you do. It is entirely possible to build an economic system which treats everyone as equals and which recognises that each of us has a valuable contribution to make. On behalf of the Irish Congress of Trade Unions, I extend May Day greetings to all our members, friends, colleagues and supporters, and to workers in struggle everywhere. We are here today to celebrate workers in the International Festival of May Day. However, we start by putting a spotlight on those in our community who have never got the chance to be a worker. Those who have lost their jobs, communities living on or near the poverty line, and in particular, women and children who are under attack from welfare benefit cuts. And what is our government up to? Disgracefully, it is pursuing the same disastrous course. It is in danger of plunging the Northern Ireland community into the abyss. There is a fairer, better way. Across Europe, it is now crystal clear that austerity doesn't work. Across this island, our movement has alternative proposals for raising money, smart investments and smart economic strategies that will work. I think that one of the first things we, sh we should recognise on May Day is the sole purpose of our gathering. It isn't really to be down on ourselves. We do have to remember what's going on in the world. But the purpose of our gathering here today is to celebrate our class, to celebrate our right to be here, to celebrate our right to participate in society. And it starts, I suppose, by saying that, in a way, this is a celebration of an event that occurred in Chicago about 127 years ago with the, the bonds in the hay market. It's also an event that says that this is about six men from Dorset. It's also about 
the people who stood up in Dublin when they were locked out by their employers in 1913. It's also about what happened here in Belfast in 1907. It's a continuity of class action against the corruption of capitalism. But we're here celebrating the fact that we're still here, we're still standing, and we're still continuing with the struggle. 2012, Mayday, Belfast. All the lovely girls, all in their red. Look down in numbers. The weather's not bad. So we're hoping everybody has a very, very good day. So upwards and onwards. show our solidarity with workers at this time, uh, especially when workers throughout Europe are fighting back against the policies of austerity and cutbacks. There is no alternative to the capitalist system, and it's in socialism. Uh, it's just a good day out, May day. Um, good to see a good turnout of socialists in Belfast coming out for the International Socialist May day. I'm walking here proudly with the Workers' Party to celebrate international solidarity with all the comrades and socialists and communist groups all over the world. Also especially with the Greek Communist Party, who at the moment are fighting a very hard struggle against a very right-wing government. Here in Ireland, north and south, we're being confronted with the people who are bailing out the bankers and the ordinary workers who are suffering. This is also a protest against those gangster banksters.
This is a, the International Day for Workers, in which the uh, Workers' Party participates every year. It's a very important event, not only in relation to Northern Ireland, but right across the country, uh, across Europe, and across the world, where communist and workers' parties celebrate the gains in the workers' struggles and make their commitment and recommit themselves to fight on and defend workers' rights. Also, today, uh, we are acting in solidarity with our comrades across Europe. Uh, we wish all the best for the future, especially in tomorrow's elections, to the uh, Communist Party of Greece uh, and to all our comrades in the uh, progressive uh, and uh, international socialist movement. Thank you very much for, for getting us here. We really enjoy the day and we have had a great sunny day. Thank God we have come to the end of it. Cheers, bye. We've just completed a great day's march for uh, the uh, Workers, Workers' Party uh, in uh, solidarity with our comrades in the trade union celebrating the May Day Parade here in Belfast. Uh, a fantastic day, a fantastic turnout by all the members of the Workers' Party. And we're now going to enjoy ourselves for the rest of the day around in Wedge Tavern. Uh, solidarity to uh, all, the, all the workers on May Day. <laughs>